one. Um, this next song I also recorded with uh, Prairie Oyster and uh, taught me a couple of lessons, valuable lessons. The first one was not to be so shy about presenting my material. I had this song kicking around for a while, but you know I w hadn't gone and played it for people to really get any response. And I thought it was pretty good, but I, you know, I wasn't really sure. You never really know until you know, try out in front of a live audience. But we were rehearsing uh, for I think it was our only one moon album. I guess it was that album. And uh, Keith Glass, uh, my boyhood chum, and uh, co-partner in uh, Prairie Oyster. Uh, he was staying at my house and we'd, we'd been rehearsing for that, that afternoon. And we had dinner and a couple of drinks and I said, oh, I've got this song and uh, I pulled out the song and I played it for him. He said, oh man, I like this and we should learn that song. We should learn that and we should, we should record that song. So we did and uh, it became our first number one single. So that, that was a lesson for me. I wasn't quite so shy about presenting my material after that. And uh, But the most valuable lesson, I'm thinking, but the, the most valuable lesson I learned was never to divulge a source. Uh, I wrote this song, as this, I thought this was a compassionate look at a friend of mine's situation. She was a bartender friend of mine, and always a good combo, I find. And she um, threw it on, on again, off again, on again, off again, on again, off again, on again, off again. Marriage was finally over. Everyone around her knew it was for the better, but she, she was pretty upset about it. She'd worked pretty hard at it. She was pretty upset. So I thought this was a compassionate look at that situation. Uh, we went on to record the song. It became a big hit, and I lost touch with her. And she was a big music fan, and I couldn't wait to tell her that uh, she'd inspired the song. She finally showed up at a show one night, and we got her on, I got her on telling us, you know, that song. She said, oh, yeah. I said, well, you inspired that song. I wrote that song for you. She said, God, that person is such a loser. <laughs> True story. Never divulge a source. <laughs>
That was the video I almost got hit in the head with the spinning globe. Thank God for post-production.